Silence of the Lambs has a very transphobic reputation, and I think for good reason. The film follows Clarice, an FBI agent in training, and she's assigned to talk to Hannibal Lecter, a cannibal who used to be a renowned psychiatrist. And she was advised not to give him any personal information, but that didn't stop her. And when she goes down the hall to see Hannibal Lecter, she is confronted by the worst of men. And what this scene is trying to illustrate is that there is a heightened difference between men and women, that men and women are so vastly different according to this film that it's alien that someone might be somewhere in the middle or might actually be one instead of the other. Now, this film uses the term transsexual, which is different than what we use today, transgender. And the reason for this distinction is transgender just means that your sex that you were assigned at birth does not match your gender identity. So for example, I am a transgender woman. That means that I was assigned male at birth. When I was born, the doctor lifted me up and said, it's a boy. The doctor was wrong. But in reality, I was a girl. Transgender people do not require surgery to be transgender. I was always a girl on the inside, which is what really counts. And to all the people out there who say, my feelings and my place in society don't matter compared to my body parts, well, what are you trying to say? Are you saying you want to sleep with me? Because I'm not interested in that with you. So much more to being a woman than your body parts. Seriously, get a life. The main villain of the film, Buffalo Bill, that the reason for her insanity is because she's trans, which that's Trans people are very passive and nonviolent as they say in the film. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. But does that negate what they're trying to say. I would argue no, because most people can't tell the difference. Given the legacy of this film, many people can't tell the difference between one or the other. That's why you have so many people afraid of trans people. It's because of movies like this. I mean, Hannibal in this film literally says, Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Billy hates his own identity, you see, and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times more savage. You're saying that there is a degree of savagery to trans people? What the f***? A lot of trans people hate their own identities, but they don't take it out in this way. And that everything here comes from them hating their own identity. The depiction of Buffalo Bill isn't at all accurate to the trans experience at all. It's not a sexual fetish. And that leads a negative impression when you watch this. It's not a fetish by any means. It's just who we are as people. I know this is a short one, but thank you for watching. You can actually watch an extended version of this video on my Patreon with stuff I can't talk about here on YouTube. But hey, if you can't do that, at least give this video a like and subscribe. It really boosts this channel along. I'm almost at 500 subscribers as of the time of recording this. And I really want to help get to that milestone. So thank you so much.